So this was the question that we had. What is the question? What are mantle plumes? Define my mantle plume and explain its role in plate tectonics. That was the question. So mantle plume, I did not explain what mantle plume was last time because it were it had a connection between the topic that we're learning today. That is mantle. Okay, we have all these different kinds of layers within the earth. So you have you need to be familiar with them <clears throat> just in order to understand what one mantle plume was. So I thought that it would be better if we combine this both mantle plume and the our current topic that is interior of the earth. So we know we have different kinds of layers. We have the crust. We have the crust, the mantle and the core. Okay. So the word itself says mantle plume. So it had some have something to do with the mantle, right? It is a near vertical column of very hot mantle rocks rising from the depth. It would be something like this. Okay. And it has a giant head, a rounded head as compared to its stem. And it would be a material rising in a single column, hot, very hot mantle rock is rising in the mantle region of the earth, right? All this is happening in the mantle. Convectional current is happening in the mantle. Other regions are also there, but we don't need to go deeper into it. All these things that we are learning, the convectional current theory, the mantle plumes, the volcanism is coming from the mantle. The volcan volcanic activity is coming from the mantle. Where, where, is it? where, where does the lava comes from? It comes from the asthenosphere. We learned that, okay? So similarly, in mantle plumes, we have this phenomenon where we have a small, it is not small, comparatively it is a small narrow vertical moment of hot mantle materials which has a rounded head that is a mantle plume. So now to learn this phenomena it is related to, this is related to what we call hot spots. Okay. To learn hotspots and this, we'll have to go a little further. Little, we have to go before what we have learned this. Okay, not forward. We have to go backward. We have to go a little backward. Remember plates tectonic, right? Remember volcanism. Volcanism. We have a different chapter called dedicated entirely to volcanism. But you know the gist, right? You know how volcanoes emerge. It can emerge in convergent boundary, right? We have a subduction zone where you have a lighter, a lighter crust going down, the, the denser crust going down into the depth and it is heated up and volcanic island arcs are formed. Remember that? Convergent zones, volcanic island arcs can happen. Divergent zones, can volcanism happen there? Yes, it can happen there, divergent zones. Sea flow spreading is a very good example of divergent zones. Divergent zones and volcanism is happening there. Anyway, we are finding what we have learned is that volcanism is related to plate movements, right? It is either conversion or diversion. And that means volcanism happens on plate boundaries. Okay. We have learned this. We have learned the Pacific Ring of Fire. Remember the Pacific Ring of Fire. What happens in Pacific Ring of Fire? The Pacific plate, which is a oceanic plate, it is it is moving up north. It is moving up north, its trajectory is moving up north and it is ramming into other 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 plates in the in the in north, south, and all the minor and major plates on its side. So it's creating a creating almost a complete ring of fire around the Pacific belt. And it is it, it stretches to kilometers. And there are some volcanic island arcs in, in, in this region, right? Hmm? Japan, Philippines, all these countries lies along this 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 convergence convergence zone and that is why Japan is seismically very active see whenever we talk about whenever we talk about Japan we remember well um, not volcanism earthquakes right when we talk about Japan we the first thing that comes into your mind maybe not yours but <laughs> at least for seismologists the first thing that comes the first few things that comes rushes into your mind is the earthquakes and how that population adapted technologies and how their population adapted itself to this surrounding, this constant 
movement and shaking of the earth okay and that movement is related to that 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 shaking that 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 earthquake is related to plate movements we know this plate movements and volcanism we have volcanism along that that that, that is our original topic so we have volcanism along this plate boundaries okay we know how this happens we know the process but but we have volcanoes even in the interior of the continents okay places which are far removed from the plate boundaries what can explain this phenomena because we understand volcanism at the border at the edge of plates plate a plate b we know it's converging or is diverging okay in sea flow spreading we saw mid atlantic ridge right mid atlantic ridge is the volcanically very active one of the volcanically active regions on earth okay and we can explain this we know this we know what happens it the earth ruptures the earth tears apart and liquid liquid magma is poured upon uh, poured onto the surface and cools faster okay Re cre creates mantle sorry it creates crust hmm? it is a basaltic rock it is an igneous rock we all we know all that but what explains a phenomena where we have volcanic activity within the interior of the earth there is no plate boundary it is far removed from plate boundary from here or here okay we have volcanism we have volcanism here and here okay okay that is explained by mantle plumes that is explained by plant mantle plumes what happens here is this phenomena this phenomena is known as hot spots these are called volcanic hot spots within the well within the interior of the earth you have a volcanic activity and we call it a volcanic hot spots and volcanic hot spots are the surface expression of mantle plumes are you getting the connection now okay now we have we are up to speed okay we are in the current time hot spots is the crustal expression is a surface expression of this plume okay this could be a volcanic mountain or a fissure kind of volcano where there is just a crack and it volcano just, the lava just pours out okay it could be any of that but anyway it is the expression of this this mantle plume what we call a mantle plume what is a mantle plume it is a narrow almost a vertical column of what superheated mantle rocks which is rising up in this column and it reaches reaches the boundary of mantle and this is a this is where it it gets its rounded top it has a rounded top and a narrow column like structure which is convecting which is taking up materials it is unrelated to plate movements this phenomena is unrelated to plate movements that is the reason why we have hot spots which are volcanic activity within the interior of the earth which volcanic activity which cannot be explained away using plate tectonics till now we used plate tectonics to explain the origin formation and distribution of volcanism right but we can't do that in this case and that is explained by mantle plumes which creates the 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 hot spots now what happens is that these mantle plumes are more or less stationary as compared to our lithosphere okay this mantle plumes i told you it's stationary in the sense that as compared to our lithosphere so this is happening within the mantle right this is not changing this position is not changing let's call this position x so so it is standing on x okay and let's call this surface right here a mantle plume is rising and this current is coming up from the interior okay we have a rounded head and what happens is this these are superheated mantle okay mantle rocks so this this interaction with the crustal region also heats up this crustal crustal rock so it slowly starts rising okay and finds a weak spot and it emerges 
at a spot what we call as A. Okay. So that is that spot is plate A. Hmm? And the plate, let's call it plate um, A1. That is within A in within this tectonic plate, that is A. This A1. What happens over time is this plate tectonics is always evolving, right? Plate tectonic movements are always happening. We have new creations, new destructions, we have new subductions, we have new orographic movements. Okay, we have all this. So plates are moving, constantly moving. What happens over time is that as this plate A is moving, suppose north, and A1, that position he came here, and this is a2 same region of the plate uh, same, same plate but a different region okay and later what happens it keeps on moving it keeps on moving relative to that movement related to the movement of the crustal region mantle plumes are stationary mantle plumes are stationary where you have a column of superheated mantle which is coming up and it is forming volcanic structures here wherever it has it has it forms a it maybe forms a volcanic cone if it is an, if it is it has the capacity to form a volcanic cone or the time to form a volcanic cone it will form a volcanic cone but the, the important thing is the lithosphere plate is still moving compared to hot spot this led to the creation of hawaiian islands Hawaiian Islands in the Pacific. Okay, it is explained by a volcanic hotspot. It is not in the boundary. And Iceland, um, Greenland. Sorry, sorry, not, not Greenland. Iceland. Icelandic hotspot is also another important hotspot. Iceland. The island of Iceland was created due to this interaction, the interaction of a mandel plume. And its surface expression is called a hot spot. And that creates a volcanic structure on the surface. Okay. So that is the everything about mandel plume. I hope it is clear. I hope you can answer the question now. Okay. Thanks for listening.